I'm Dr. Allie Hampstead with the Lion Life of Simpsonville, and I just wanted to talk to you today about how to make your own baby food. I have a seven month old little baby girl, and she's really gotten curious, interested about solid foods. So instead of buying just you know the Gerber or the store brand baby food, I really wanted to make sure I knew exactly what was going into her body that she was eating. So I was on a mission to learn how to make my own baby food. And I just wanted to share some of that information with you because it's very easy and it's so much less expensive than buying individual food containers that can run you 50 cents a dollar each. You know, you could buy one sweet potato, um, you know, one bag of peas and make 10 baby foods. And so it really makes it about 10 cents, 5 cents a jar. So first thing you need to do is get a food processor. It will make your life a lot easier. You also need to have some sort of ice cube trays or little jars that are empty that you plan on using for the food. Then you need to go shopping and get whatever foods you want to make. Um, when they're real little, about four to six months, you want to stick with one food per jar. But after six months, you can mix and match. So last night I made a batch for my daughter and we did sweet potato and apple together, pear and squash together, and then a broccoli, carrot, and cauliflower mix. She had three different options coming up for this week. And basically what you need to do is buy those items, and I would recommend getting them um, organic in your produce section. You can also go to a store that carries organic frozen vegetables, and that might make your life a lot easier too, because a lot of times with those frozen vegetables, you can cook them by steaming them in the microwave. Um, and again, that just saves you a lot of time. But if you're buying fresh organic from the produce section, you're going to bring them home. Um, for the squash and the sweet potato, you're going to bake those in the oven for about 45 minutes for, uh, I'd say on 450 in the oven or 425. Then when those come out, you're going to scoop out all the um, inside, keep the skin off and put that in the food processor. For the apples, you can chop them up and boil them. And for the pears, you can cut them in half face down on a pan and cook those in the oven for about 20 minutes. Again, you're gonna take all the skin off, all the seeds off, blend it up in the food processor. So again, for um, what I did, I did the sweet potato with the apple and the pear with the squash. So again, you're gonna separate those. Once you have them going in the food processor, to thin it out a little bit, you can add breast milk or formula or a little bit of water. Um, I typically will use a little bit of the water that we use when we actually boil that food. You want to cook it before you use it. Um, then once it's all processed and blended up evenly, you're going to pour that into the ice cube trays. Stick those ice cube trays in the freezer. Then when they're done, you can just pop them out, put them in a Ziploc baggie, label the date and what you made. And then whenever you need um, food for the next day, you just pull a couple cubes out, stick them in a little bowl or a jar, let them thaw overnight, and that'll be ready for your baby in the next morning. Um, one food you don't have to cook is bananas. You can just mash those up. It's real easy. Um, or again, you can process those along with the other things once they've been cooked. If you have any questions about that or any questions in general about nutrition for your young ones, give us a call at 864-881-3693.